Hi St. Mary's friends, it's Amelia here. I am coming to you today to talk to you about love. During the month of February, we talk about love a lot. I wonder why. Can you remember what special day happens in the month of February? That's right, Valentine's Day. And we celebrate Valentine's Day a lot. We have parties at school and we think about it a lot. And so Valentine's Day is a real celebration of a man, Saint Valentine. And Saint Valentine lived a very long time ago. What was most special about Saint Valentine is that he really showed God's love in the world by what he said and by what he did. And so I want to share a passage with you from the Bible that I think teaches us a lot about love. And it's a passage that we sent a packet home to you about. Um, there's all kinds of fun activities to work on. This passage is from 1 Corinthians. That's the part in the New Testament, all those letters that Paul and others wrote. If you remember our old Bible bookcase, it's all the way at the very end of the New Testament. I'm going to read you just a little bit of it before we begin. Love is patient. Love is kind. It isn't jealous. It doesn't brag. It isn't arrogant. It isn't rude. It doesn't seek its own advantage. It isn't irritable. It doesn't keep a record of complaints. It isn't happy with injustice, but it is happy with the truth. Love puts up with all things, trusts in all things, hopes for all things, endures all things. Love never fails. I just love that passage because it teaches us that love with God is not necessarily easy. It's hard to be patient and it's hard to be kind some days and I certainly get jealous and I do brag sometimes. All those things are not easy but it shows us how big God's love is. And so as you're going along through this month of February and everyone's talking about love, I hope you think about how big God's love is for you and how you can share that love with the world. While we are talking about love in the month of February here during story time, I want to share this book with you, What is Love? It's written by Mac Barnett and illustrated by Carson Ellis. It's a beautiful book with great illustrations. I hope you will enjoy it. In the book, this little boy tries to figure out what love is. And along the way, he discovers that it means different things to different people. And I hope that you will enjoy following along on his journey, learning about what love is. And I hope that you will think about all the different ways that people think about love. What is Love by Mac Barnett, illustrated by Carson Ellis, published by Chronicle Books. When I was a boy, in the garden out front of the house where we lived, I asked my grandmother, what is love? My grandma was old. I thought she would know. She picked me up in her arms and said, I can't answer that. Who can, I ask? If you go out into the world, you might find an answer. So I went. I asked the fisherman, what is love? The fisherman smiled. Love is a fish. A fish, I said. It glimmers and splash, splashes just out of reach. And the day that you catch it, if you know what you're doing, you give it a kiss and throw it back into the sea. But I don't like fish, I said. They're slimy and taste bad and they have creepy eyes. The fisherman sighed. You do not understand. I asked the actor, what is love? The actor smiled. Love is applause. Applause? It's the hoots of the crowd and the sound of their hands. You stand in the footlights while they all scream your name. Sometimes they throw flowers. At that moment, you know you exist. You are seen. But the crowd leaves, I said. They go home. The actor sighed. You do not understand. I asked the cat, what is love? The cat smiled. Love is the night. The night, I said, that sounded all right. 
But before the cat could explain, a dog chased it away. Wait, I said, stop. What is love? The dog looked back and said, this. I asked the carpenter, what is love? The carpenter smiled. Love is a house. A house? You hammer and saw and arrange all the planks. It wobbles and creaks and you alter your plans. But in the end, the thing stands and you live in it. I said, I'm not allowed to use hammers. Once I busted my thumb. I don't mean a real hammer. I'm not talking about thumbs. It got busted real bad. The carpenter sighed. You do not understand. The farmer told me love is a seed. The soldier told me love is a blade. The soldier told me love is a horse. But the cart driver said, no, it's a donkey. A sports car, a donut, a lizard, a ring. The first snow of winter, a maple in summer, a grizzly bear, this pebble right here. These are all things people told me love is. I asked the poet, what is love? The poet smiled. Sit down and I'll tell you, he said, a list so long it goes on for pages. I didn't have time to listen to that. Wait, said the poet, I have not answered your question. You sure haven't, I said. The poet shouted at me, you do not understand. And so one day I returned to the house where we lived. Do you notice he's more grown up now? The lights were all on. I smelled dinner cooking. My dog barked gladly at me from a window upstairs. I took off my shoes and I stood in the garden. I curled my toes so they dug into the dirt. I sighed. I didn't hear my grandmother come up behind me. Finally, she said, you've come back. She was older, I was taller. She asked me, did you answer your question? I picked her up in my arms. I smiled. I said, yes.